eyes are on snowboarder Greg Bretz after he turned a solid half pipe run in tough snowy conditions to lead qualifying on Wednesday at the U.S. Grand Prix. Brett scored 91.4 points on his opening run to advance to the final Saturday in the season's third of five selection events for the U.S. Olympic team, topping Louis Vitillo and Sean White. This could translate into big bucks off the slopes for endorsements. Champion Greg Bretz joins us now. Hey, Greg. How's it going? Well, you know, you finally listened to me. You took all my techniques, and now you're on top. Uh, yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> Tell us, you know, Lindsey Vaughn out, Alice McKennis out, uh, Bodie Miller getting old. Like, you are the man right now. Uh, well, I'm trying to be, you know, just working hard and staying dedicated. Yeah, I can imagine. You certainly are. You know, i got to ask, uh, the business of, of, of sports here, um, I, I would assume that if you do well, and we know that you will, that the endorsements are really going to start coming in. Oh, definitely. You know, um, you just got to make sure that you keep your sponsors happy, uh, keeping the stickers on your snowboards, and just having fun. <laughs> I know. You're already endorsed by Red Bull. I got to ask for, for skiers. You know, that, that we know that track runners don't get the same kind of endorsement, say, as football and basketball players. What's it like for, for your sport? Um, you know, it, it, all, it all comes on uh, depending on where you are in your sport, you know. Um, I'm a contest rider, so the better you do in contests, the more, the more, or the bigger contracts you get. Yeah, I can imagine. Of course, you're looking to uh, to make millions. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to be your new best friend. You can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk about Sochi. Uh, obviously, uh, there, there's a lot going on there. I want to talk about the sport itself. Um, how do you think the, the U.S. team uh, will, will fare? You know, there are a number of injuries there. Um, what are your predictions? Um, you know, U.S. has such amazing athletes that um, I think that we're going to end up doing well over there. Um, there's a lot of stuff going down over there, but you know what? We're just going to try and keep our head in the game and uh, try and compete our best. Mm -hmm. your, your major competition over there, Greg? Pardon? Your, your major competition over there? Yeah, for sure. How difficult is it doing these jumps? I mean, I, I can't even imagine, uh, you know, <laughs> getting on a snow snowboard and doing this. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it all comes with risk and reward, you know. Um, learning new tricks is, I mean, you're going to fall. I can, well, I can imagine. How, how, how do you train for this? Um, a lot of times they, they get the, you can have an airbag at the bottom of the half pipe, but it just comes with um, having fun and, I mean, just really being dedicated to your sport. Well, you know, I'm just looking at you take a spill right there and it's coming back up. I mean, I tell you, I'd be so frightened uh, after one of these pikes getting on there and taking a spill like that. I mean, geez, it, was that really, I, I, these spills, I mean, I mean, have you had any major injuries? Um, yeah, I've had several major injuries last February. Uh, I fractured a vertebrae in my back. Oh, my God. And, uh, I mean, you just gotta, you can either take it as a positive or a negative, and I always try and come out of an injury with a positive. Mm. You know, I've got to ask on a, on a more serious note there. You've heard, of course, of all the things going on over there near Sochi in Volgograd, uh, terror explosions and bombs going off. Are, are any of you really concerned for your safety uh, going over to Sochi? Um, you know what? The U.S. has, they'll, they'll have enough bodyguards for us over there, so um, it, I'm not really concerned about it. But uh, you know what? I'm just going to go over there and have a good time. i got to ask you about your, your future for the sport. You have a lot of fans here at Arise News. Of course, Alvina is one of your biggest fans. She has pom-poms on in the control room. Uh, where, where do you go from here? Um, hopefully up, you know. Um, you just got to really progress your own snowboarding. And uh, at the end of the day, you just got to be happy with it. I, from, here, from here on out, hopefully uh, I can make some more wins. Well, well I tell you, uh, all, all, all the best to you, uh, you know, Saturday, Greg, and we're so glad to have you here, and uh, we're rooting for you as, uh, as far as the rest of the team. Thank you so very much. Okay. Appreciate and when, it. And when you come back, and when you, when you come back here to the United States, I want to make sure that you teach me all your techniques on snowboarding. I could definitely do that for you. Greg, when, when did you start, actually? This is the last question we have for you. When, when did you actually start snowboarding? If you really, really want to be good at this sport, what would you tell a person? At what age did they start snowboarding? 
Um, you can really start whatever age. I started when I was five years old. Um, I started competing when I was 10, and uh, I've been sticking with it ever since. Fantastic. Maybe one of these days I will be as good as you, even at my old age. I'm telling you, you're stealing all my techniques. We're going to have to talk about this when you get back. Definitely. I look forward to speaking with you. Okay, Greg Bretz, again, thank you so much. Congratulations and much success in Sochi. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Tomorrow on Arise Exchange, welcome back, Arise Exchange anchor, our own intrepid Andrew Schmertz. And the monthly job report numbers are out for December. Will they meet analysts' expectations? Here's another look at the markets. The Dow closing at 16.444, the S&P 500 closing at 18.38, and the Nasdaq ending the day at 41.56. A lot of news and information and some first here today on Arise Exchange. Schmertzy will be back tomorrow. Watch him then.